Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the price point of some studios and whether the high price point slash what some people will say overpriced price point is worth it. I've seen this one on TikTok a lot actually, and it's a lot of pierces advocating for going to the most high-end shop like you can find which is all well and good. I have nothing against that. However, it's basically um, people saying that like, if you go there, you're going to be without issues. You're going to be without problems. Um, and that is a problem. Now, obviously high end studios are going to be the best place you can go to. I definitely always recommend that. However, it really does come down to the piercer at the end of the day. I've met so many piercers and we've all worked at all different types of shops. And a lot of people can agree that it comes down to the piercer. I mean, I would love to say that a lot of high end shops have the best piercers. And it is the case a lot of the time. However, it isn't always the case. Or sometimes some of the um, procedures that go down at some places aren't, they aren't the best like practice. I've definitely heard of more high end studios using very, very short bars to begin with. Um, so like not allowing any swell room and people are spending bank. Like I'm talking, you could drop a thousand, two thousand dollars, and they're getting pierced with a very short bar that allows for no swell room. Even though the jewelry is high, high quality, that doesn't mean that the piercing is just going to automatically heal like that. I mean, there's a lot that comes with the healing. Obviously, high quality jewelry is the best thing to go for, and you're going to have the best chance of the best, the healthiest healing possible with high quality jewelry. There's no doubting that at all. But if the jewelry is isn't long enough at the end of the day that's still not going to heal properly because the piercing is going to swell and not have anywhere to go and then it's going to get embedded and then irritation and infection can happen from there and I've heard multiple stories I'm not sure if the stories I've heard were because the client like was spending so much money on a piece of jewelry that they wanted to use that for the whole healing period but that makes no sense because as a piercer you shouldn't allow that like if someone were to come to me and wanted something far too short for the allowance that is needed for swelling I wouldn't do it and I'm not saying it's like completely the piercer to blame either there is nothing any piercer can do that can guarantee a hundred percent easy breezy healing no problems healed like that no issues all good not possible. At the end of the day, pierces, like we're humans. Not only is there human error, but I'm not even talking about the human error here either, but also human error can happen at a high, high end shop. We are humans after all. We aren't machines. I mean, machines can fuck up at things. So like obviously a human can. That's one part of it, but also no piercer can guarantee what happens at the other end with the person healing their piercing. Is the piercing just going to reject because that person's body is never going to accept it, no matter who they've been to. I know multiple, multiple people who have gone through this. No matter where they go, no piercing is staying in that spot. Very common for navel piercings. And people will get to the end, you know, they've been place to place and they get to the point where they're willing and ready to spend as much money as possible. These people will drop so much money on a piercing that hasn't worked anywhere else what's to say it's going to work at this place? And it rarely does. So that's the thing that really sucks is that, um, yeah, people should be listening to that and sort of turning people away because of that. Yeah, I do not agree with the go somewhere high end and all oh, your piercing problems fly out the window. It's not possible. Yes, most of them probably will fly out the window and you will have a wonderful experience. You'll have some fantastic jewelry, but that's not to say that your piercing is always 100% going to work. I think that's something you really need to think about is a person can't guarantee you no rejection. It's, it's not possible. Or migration. A piercer can help you along the way, obviously, and help to like stop the migration. But most of the time, it's just going to happen. Our body is doing what it was created to do, and that is push foreign objects out. So it's doing the right thing. It just sucks when we've spent a lot of money to have that thing be there and it just, it don't want us. I don't want you, <laughs> is what it's saying. No shade, no hate to any 
any shops anywhere. Um, just, yeah, I'm just saying it's not it's not possible to guarantee that. So stop telling people that. It's like it's there's no issues when you go to one of these places. And I'm not saying that if you go somewhere cheap, it's going to be like good because that's also not true either. But at the same time, there are some good piercers who work in some shitty places. They just happen to be there. They maybe have happened to have started there. Might be where they live. That's the only job they can get right now. Like you don't know. People have their fucking circumstances, all right? And I guess as long as they're following the correct procedures, then they're still going to be a good piercer. Sometimes names can get tainted. You know, there's a whole range of reasons why people think certain places are good and other places aren't. To be honest, I've heard shitty things about every place ever. Like, it, j it just happens. <laughs> like, someone's gonna say something shit about everywhere. Going somewhere really expensive doesn't mean the best piercing of all time. And there are so many piercers that come from like a bit of a piercing, I don't even know how to say it, but you know, piercing shops. And next minute they're in like the most high-end studio of all time. Like it happens so often you don't even realize. It's hard to explain because I don't want to name any studios at all because um, I ain't trying to get involved in that but it's just what happens it's what we do also to anyone out there who might be thinking that like a certain place is dog shit that same very piercer could be piercing at the very high end place like in two weeks time just adding a little bit of information in there in case like no one actually thought of this but it's a very common occurrence like damn it's kind of wild how it works but like it genuinely really comes down to the piercer. I, I've always thought that, the quality of the piercer. So to sum it up, I basically would just like to say that I think it's important before you get a piercing to understand how piercings work, understand what is required of you in getting a piercing and looking after a piercing because this is a huge part of the piercing's healing and how the piercing will end up. I personally think it's smart to enter into these situations realizing that you can't assume that money guarantees you the highest quality, the best service. I really think that you need to do your prior research and find out what it means to be a good and high quality piercing. But for the most part, if you are going to these high price point piercing shops, you generally are going to get a really good quality service because these prices can be out of reach for most people. If you are willing and wanting to pay these prices, I just wanna make sure that you're going to be confident in the price that you are putting down. That is all. But for the most part, you will be fine in these shops for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll be back with another piercing very... Ah!